Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a twin Q&A. So to help me film this video today, I have my twin sister Caroline with me. Hey guys. And Colin's gonna ask us our questions today. Are you gonna ask us questions yet? Okay, first question. <laughs> Who was born first? I was born first. So I'm the older, the older twin. She and was, I hold it against you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. She was born four hours before me. Yeah, Caroline was a little slow. What is it like growing up as a twin? It's nice that you like have somebody there with you all the time. <laughs> that was actually my favorite, I think. Yeah, like you have a built-in friend. <laughs> you have a built-in emotional support human. Yeah. That yes. is to yeah, that was like a big one. Yeah. It's just really nice to have a sibling that's like your exact age. Yeah, and you can like relate to each other about everything because you're in the same situation. Mm -hmm. Like you're in the same like time of life, you're in the same grade growing yeah. up. Yeah. Um, but then there were obviously frustrations as well. Like I think oh, yeah. one of the hardest ones for us was like sharing a room together. So we shared a room until we were like 15 or 16 years old. And I think just being in each other's space all the time was a little bit. <laughs> I think the clothes probably didn't help. I yeah. used to steal her clothes all the time. Yeah, that was really nice. Just like the general like being forced together yeah. just because you were a twin. Like I think yeah. both of us felt that a lot. Because we were like in the same, I mean, we weren't always in the same classes, but a lot of the time we were in we similar were classes. Always together. And yeah, at dance, of course, we were always together. At home, we were always together. We, we had, had the same, same group of friends. friends. Yeah. We were constantly together. Like we had no time to be apart. Yeah. And I think like, yeah, us being forced to be together was not super helpful for our relationship. Yeah, I would agree. Because once we had more space, mm -hmm. our relationship got so much better yeah. so quickly. Because like, we, we did fight like a, Yeah, we did fight a fair amount growing oh, up. Oh yeah. Like when we were kids, up until we were like 18 years old and you left, uh -huh. um, then we like, we definitely, we I were left. kind of at each other. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was like polar opposites. We like really got along super well on one side, but then uh -huh. we really got irritated with each other on the other side. Yeah. But do you know when we got along? Do you remember like when we got along best? <laughs> when we were picking on our older sister. Yeah. <laughs> That's so mean to say. But when we we have an older sister who's two and a half years older than us, and the times that we got along the best were <laughs> the times that we even gang up against her. <laughs> that sounds really mean. We're all like very good friends now. Yeah. Have either of you felt jealous uh, of one another? Yeah, I feel like, I feel jealous that Stephanie has so much structure in her life. I feel like for me, yeah. it's like your kind of like relaxed, fun attitude. Like, or you just are more easy going. coffee I had. That's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that was something that I was jealous of you growing up. That you were like, just so much more like relaxed than me. Do you girls have similar taste in boys? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I've always, like the people that I have been like attracted to or dated have been like blonde. Well, blonde and brunette, like light haired brunette, like Colin obviously is, yeah, like light haired brunette and blonde, yeah. And that's, that's like not my type. I usually date guys with like darker hair. I also, I mean, maybe you do too, but like I like people that are like kind of driven. Yeah, I feel like we both like hardworking people because yeah. we're so hardworking. Yeah. What else? I'm not in a relationship. <laughs> and you're in a relationship? Yeah, but that's What are your closest similarities? Our closest similarities. Our closest similarities? Mm, our interests. We have a lot of similar interests. So we both enjoy like health. Going for walks. Going for walks, exercise. Yeah, being in nature, being outside. We like treats. We like coffee. Mm -hmm. You share the same mother? <laughs> we share the same family. I don't know if that counts as a similarity. I don't think that counts as a similarity. <laughs> yeah, another interest that we shared growing up was dancing. So I, as most of you guys probably know now, I am a ballet teacher, but Carolyn and I grew up dancing together. So mm -hmm. we both started when we were, I think we were three years old. Yeah, we were, when we were first put in ballet and we danced together. Um, you didn't do like as many styles, but no, I didn't do like hip hop or tap. Those yeah. were like very different mm -hmm. for me. But, but up until we were like, what, 18 years old? Mm -hmm. Then 18 we like, 19. we danced together. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Next question. Okay. And what are the largest differences between the two of you? Oof, we have a lot of those. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Caroline's a little messier than I am. A little. <laughs> I'm a bit more of like a neat freak. I am messy. I'm a messy human. It's not one of my greatest uh, attributes. Stephanie knows how to do her makeup. Stephanie <laughs> does not know how to do her makeup. <laughs> um, 
I probably like enjoy like clothes more than you. Yeah, definitely. I dress up in like workout gear most days. Like our lifestyle and job, probably our lifestyle because of our jobs. Yeah. So maybe you are. Like you have very structured days. Yeah. Um, like I have a schedule, a regular yeah, schedule. And I have no I feel schedule. like you should explain your job. Yeah, so I am a licensed practical nurse. So I do shift work like most nurses. So it leads to a very erratic sleep schedule, eating schedule, all of that stuff. My life has significantly less like time, like structure than yours, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Also, you get grossed out real easy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, Caroline can like so easily deal with like blood and just disgusting things and um, it wouldn't work for me. I could never be a nurse. What's the weirdest question that either of you have been asked about being a twin? Um, the woodworking one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was, <laughs> it wasn't really weird. I think it was a joke. Um, there was, I think we were in middle school. Yeah, we were in grade eight, I think. Uh, and we did this like woodworking class, which we absolutely loved, but there was, uh, kid in the class and he asked us if you like chopped one twin's finger off could the other twin feel it or like if you cut one twin's hand could you feel it yeah like basically if we would feel each other's pain if one of us got hurt and we said no it's just a stupid question <laughs> obviously <laughs> what do you dislike about being a twin mm, i think the dislike was more when we were younger yeah because i don't think i dislike it now no i like it now yeah it's like you were born with a best friend yeah, no, there's nothing to dislike, but definitely like when you're a kid, I feel like the identity issue maybe, like feeling like you almost don't have your own identity. Yeah. It's always like Stephanie and Caroline, yeah. not just Stephanie or not just Caroline, yeah. like we get to be now. Yeah. It was always like the twins. Or maybe birthdays. You know? Did you find birthdays growing up hard? I didn't love that. Yeah. Um, because everybody else got their own birthday. Now yeah. it's nice. Now it's nice that we share a birthday and we usually like do yeah. things on our birthday. Yeah. I also think it's hard to have the same friends. Yeah, that was hard, yeah. but I think that was just because we spent so much time together. Yeah, and all the people we knew were we just that to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> What's the longest that you two have been apart? Um, when you went to Europe. Mm -hmm. I was an au pair for about six months in Europe, and then I traveled around for another three months, I think, after that. Lived in Germany for a little bit because we had family there. When you were, were when we were like 18. Yeah. So for like nine months we were apart. Yeah, and that was kind of the first time we'd ever really been separated. Mm -hmm. um, it was the first time we never missed each other. Yeah. I think so, somehow that was like a beautiful thing. Like that was like our turning point in our relationship. Absolutely. For sure. Like yeah. we were just like squabbly, like fighting sisters yeah. before that probably. Totally. And yeah. then we like, yeah, we started to miss each other and we would like, not like FaceTime. What did we have back then? Skype. Oh yeah, we would Skype um, yeah. when Caroline was away. Yeah. And then once she came back, we like got along so well. Yeah, I think it was like really important for both of us to kind of like find our identity without the other. Mm -hmm. And then we were much happier. Um, yeah. And yeah, and it was like way easier to have like a good relationship after that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Is twin telepathy real? No. Wow. <laughs> but people definitely, I think they thought that growing up just because of the way we like answered stuff. Well, we like, kind of like always say everything the same yeah even like the way we like sing things mm -hmm. like, like like we speak in similar like speaking patterns uh -huh. but that's really just because we spent so much time together because yeah. we were together like the entire time growing up yeah okay so when we play games oh like, we're so when you play those, like word games those. where you have to get somebody else to like guess the question like guess or the guess word you're thinking guess of. the word you're thinking yeah, of. yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're really good at that. Ridiculously good Just at that. because we've had so many like experiences together, yeah. so we can be like, oh, that time, like in grade nine when we did this, mm -hmm. like, you just, you know, like right away what the other person's talking about because we've had all of our experiences together. So oh. it's not twin telepathy. Like, it's not, it's not magic. magic. <laughs> yeah, but we're not allowed to be on the same team with most games. Yeah, because we're too good. Too good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Caroline. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Stephanie dating me? <laughs> um, I'm fine with it. <laughs> You're actually really good for Stephanie, which was, I feel like the most obvious thing was that you uh, definitely add to her life in a good way. 
um, you definitely pushed her in the ways that she needed to be kind of like encouraged or kind of pushed. Yeah, I agree. Um, Stephanie was not very good at like kind of getting out of her comfort zone before she met Colin. And I think that was probably really helpful. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. Thank you. I'm a very nice person. <laughs> <laughs> now tell us what you also, really think. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. And if you're liking my channel, then please subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for the <laughs>